see. Da, 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 da. Okay, I think we can go back into the video and finish off this little section here. Mm. Uh, so, uh, but right now I can just tell you this is our next gen platform. Can't confirm specific platforms, but uh, we'll get that out to you as soon as possible. Again, you know, just stay tuned to this show. Uh, we'll let you know. So yeah, again, just more of the uh, can't confirm what uh, platforms it's going to be coming to but I think we can guess what the obvious ones are. Uh, moving on to the mm. next portion. Yeah, I know PR and marketing are cringing right now. Like, Mel, do not spill the beans, you know? like. Zzz. But I'll tell you this, we have a lot of new IPs coming, <laughs> uh, partners we've never worked with before. Um, some things that I've hinted at personally, you know, you've seen me talk about them or hint about them. They're coming this year, you guys. This is the year they're gonna hit. You're gonna hear about uh, all this news right here on the Pinball Show. Like, this is where you can go now to, to like get these announcements. Um, but it's it's really cool. Um, yes, some amazing surprises coming, and uh, just 2021 is gonna rock, dude. I mean, like seriously, it's gonna be really really good off the hook. Right. Okay, so brand new IPs, uh, and the things that Mel has been hinting at coming in 2021. So um, I think in terms of those new IPs, we are looking at. I'm guessing some more of those Williams DMD licensed DMD. I don't think they have much choice not to now. Like they're at the point where that's kind of getting like the only things they can really produce that don't have, you know, right. That they're sort of like semi license free. You know what I mean? Like we're and I I don't about. have the I didn't include it in the video, uh, but at one point Mel mentioned all the previous partners he mentioned. You know, Bethesda and Telltale and uh, uh, Valve. You know, mm. so all these things that they also... So we also might be talking just plain new IPs for Zen original tables to, as well. I, I mean, I fully, uh, I fully suspect that. Um, you know, essentially, you know, The Mandalorian isn't a new IP because it's, it's, you know, from Star Wars, but... The Mandalorian you know, itself is a new IP. Is a new IP, yeah. Which, so, by the way, they said that they're going to announce a second Star Wars table in the February pinball show. In before Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I said. I said, <laughs> I said it's the Jar Jar Binks table because, you know, Misa loves some pinsy ball. Um, <laughs> <laughs> says no one ever. Yes, yeah, says no one ever. <laughs> Although I legitimately would like a, I would like a, a prequel pack. Of, of the Star Wars tables. I, I, we need a prequel pack and we need to get Rise of Skywalker. I don't care what anybody thinks of the movies. Um, I just want all the movies represented in pinball form. Yeah, that's right. So, but you know, you think about how good, like, the only thing, like, if you were thinking, just entertain for a moment a Jar Jar Bing's table, it would just be you constantly smacking the living out of Jar Jar Bing's. Oh, he'd have like, to be a bash toy. <laughs> Every everything would be oh in this mode smack Jar Jar Binks in the head with a ball in this <laughs> mode please repeat <laughs> that's all you'd be doing except this time <laughs> hit him with the nuts <laughs> his ears you know, act as ball doing. locks you know oh um, yeah it'd be as, as mm -hmm. him him fumbling the the energy balls like he did in the movie he'd be fumbling the balls and uh, they spill all over um, well that's what they did in episode one that's that what was I'm talking mode. about yeah yeah. And, you know, they can bring in episode one. It wasn't a terrible pinball machine. So, anyhow. Um, so, yeah, so there you go. There's going to be new IPs. Uh, what those are going to be, who knows. But, um, like I said, good money is that it's going to be some of these Williams tables, licensed mm. tables. Um, but additionally, good money is that you're going to see some Zen Originals with uh, a licensed IP. I don't... I. Well, I was going to say, I seriously doubt that Zen's going to be doing uh, fully original non-licensed, but then we forget that they've got in their back pocket that <laughs> that three-pack of tables, so. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens this year. I think there's going to be some stuff that even us, with the amount of experience we've had with the platform over the years, we won't even be able to predict them. Like, it's going to be left field stuff that, you know, particularly those IPs and stuff that are, you know, from the, the Asian market. Yeah. I think those are going to be surprises. Like, if they actually start coming into the platform, we're not going to really see those coming at all. They're going to be 
like probably good as well, but also like, oh, oh, of course, that makes total sense. But it's like I never would have thought, you know? Yeah. Um, let me see what our next portion of the video is because I can't remember what I have. Coming up next, uh, so I might pause this really quick because it might not be ready for me to talk about it. <laughs> okay, so Pinball Oh, yep, I don't want to talk about Pinball Royale yet. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to get to Pinball Royale. There's no doubt about that. Um, mm -hmm. But what I did want to touch upon, this was stuff that popped into the Reddit thread. Um, so... So one of the questions was about the physics, okay? And mm. Mel mentioned, he said, we are working to make sure the entire library is supported with the Williams physics. And then he goes, funny we started out calling the new physics pro physics, but I think everyone now knows them as Williams classics physics. <laughs> yeah. So hooray! I don't know how smart that would be to label it as Williams physics because now you're making your physics now it's engine tied exactly. to a licensed property but um, yeah it's mm, it's just like the new physics but no, seriously, get rid of the, the, the pro physics just never worked for me i did not like calling them pro physics well if they're going to apply those those physics to every single table they're no longer williams physics so you need to think of a new name right um <laughs> other things that were and this is going to tie into the uh pinball royale which we're gonna have a lot to say about um, but yeah. some other things that were uh, mentioned, um, let's see, some pillars from today. This is again, Mel uh, wrote this, Pinball Royale and live events. We want the game to feel alive and fresh all the time. New table IPs will feed these pillars. Um, this is something that we mentioned with Farsight, where we're like, guys, your game is dying on the vine because there's nothing exciting going on other than DLC. You're not enticing yeah people to come back how do you entice them we were arguing at the time resetting leaderboards making it yes. something that you need to come in active every year to re stake your claim so yeah. doing live events um that would be a big part of that uh Acos then followed that up by saying pinball royale a clan system mm, challenge modes mm. a career mode uh we are switching engines so completely new visuals we got new IPs on the way. That's a lot of stuff, Akos. That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, first off, clan. I can guarantee you there will be a blockade clan. <laughs> uh -huh. Just, it will happen. It will happen. Um, so uh, all you good players, you're going to come join us, right? Yeah, that's right. You'll come to our clan. <laughs> be, be, be part of our clan. Um Challenge modes, who knows if that's the same challenge modes that we're used to now or not. I don't know what career mode necessarily would be, if that's just another way like, of doing super score. or. I think so. It's probably like career mode would be, you know, goals. I reckon they're going to take a few leaves out of uh, Magic Pixel and have like, um, you know, those, you know, chase a light thing or, you know, that type of oh, okay. thing. Sure. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. Um, would make sense. And then, uh, and then we are switching engines. Mm. So completely new visuals. Later, <laughs> Mel writes, uh, updating each table with a new physics system is not done at the push of a button. It's basically completely rebuild of the game. And with a library the size that we have, it's a monumental task. You may have heard me mention that we are working with new technology, which also creates the opportunity to get this work done. So I think it's safe to say, Jared, they're scrapping their old graphics engine and working into a new graphics engine. Yeah, which was the the PX engine um, is what the, the engine was called before, which has served them now for, I think it's about 10 years. Okay. Um, so that one's going. And insert new one here. Easy, right? And, yeah. and, and specifically, we're talking about Graphics engine, not a physics engine necessarily. I'm sure the physics engine is like they've been working on that, tinkering with that. They're not going to just like scrap that for a brand new. <laughs> yeah, and that might actually be PX. Like PX that... may actually be the 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 physics engine that you're talking about there. Yeah, because so I I don't know what I don't know what graphics engine that they're uh, currently running on. Um, but yeah, it's sure interesting either. that they mention this. So why would they need though a new engine? 
And how would this create the opportunity to get the work done? Well, if you use a new engine that is scalable to various platforms based on, you know, what, uh, let's say on PC, obviously you can have all the bells and whistles, all the, everything turned up to ultra essentially yep. with lighting and all that stuff. But then you want to throw it down to the switch. Well, it can't handle all that. Well, that's fine. You just tick off, you know. You just have a profile. Right. Profile you're, says you're not going to have profile. this, 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 and this function. We can just put the slider down to zero. Boom. No problem. And then port it straight over and... Cut the build. Ship it. Yeah. 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 And exactly. I think that that's like, going to be... Between frameworks, like, you know, having to develop on the, the PS5 native framework versus Xbox's framework, you know, having one way to sing, essentially single source and produce a build on demand just by adjusting settings and parameters like that is a big selling point for the ability to iterate quickly and not have to um try and retrofit features into other platforms like farsight had to do right during their development right because that was literally bad oh i mean farsight alone on pc they had their dx9 version they had their mm -hmm. dx11 11. 11 version the, it was two codes. It was two separate codes. It wasn't mm. even just them flipping a switch and having it go. And so they would correct a bug in in DX9, and it would wind up causing a bug in the 11. DX11 because they had copied certain portions of code over, and then they had to chase it down. So they were like doing double work every single yeah. time. You don't want to do that. That's, that's inefficient. So, yeah, if you can have all of... All of your platforms are wrapped up into one graphics engine that can do it all. That makes things much more efficient. You can crank much through more. these things. You can do all these massive uh, upgrades to all these tables. Um, makes sense. The other thing, and this was also on Reddit, uh, somebody said, can we expect Williams VR tables on PSVR? So that's uh, Sony's VR. And Mel writes, this needs to happen. Needs to happen. Needs to happen. Yeah. So if we think about the VR world uh according to oculus you have three choices <laughs> for your graphics engine that will work with the quest 2. Mm, that's right unity 3d unreal engine and then a natively developed native. engine that you obviously are working on yourself i mm. suspect that they're probably not doing their own anymore it would be much easier as you grow and expand to pop into one of these other engines that is already scalable to all the various platforms, including mobile. That's right. You, you, if well, you know, if you start writing your own like development platform, you're essentially no longer a software company; you're a platform development company. Yeah. Because <laughs> you've got to support the whole thing, and it's just you, it's, <laughs> your time's better spent elsewhere. So you take an existing one and you start using it. Yeah. So I think that's very interesting with where this can go. Um, we've seen mm. some, uh, you know, splash reels of what can be done with lighting and uh, particle physics and stuff in some of these new engines that it's are... It's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing because it uses so few resources of the CPU. Yeah. So if you start having that kind of technology at your fingertips and being able to use it, think about this. Arcade 1UP has already started thinking about how are we going to get things like NFL Blitz into a cabinet? Yeah. Because that used a whole different, much larger, that, that was using a ROM bait or a, a disk based. Uh, it was a disk based system, yeah. Yeah, system. They're obviously not going to do that in their cabinets. Um, so they're going to be seeking out a new way of doing probably these games using some kind of an engine of this, this sort. Well, right. if that starts being produced for that, they could put that same thing into the pinball machines. And mm. then all of a sudden, developing for Arcade 1UP is also, boom, easy. Throw it over with wonderfully perfect graphics, not just Android port of graphics. That's right. So. Just flick a couple of parameters to knock down the um, stuff for the system on the chip they're using. And um, off you go. In fact, I think a lot of these frameworks actually have development targets for certain SOCs or systems on a chip. So if you've got a PS5 or a PS4 that's just preset, 
preset things that you just export to. Yeah. So you don't even need to do a lot of optimization or tweaking. It's just like, oh yeah, I want to publish for PS4. Click done. So where people are not being excited about everything that was said, and that's because you're not listening closely enough. Yeah. <laughs> There's plenty to get excited about um, and to to speculate of where this is going um, and what this could mean for the game. 